Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this uh, brief validatory function. You have had a busy time in last two weeks, I understand. I hope you have enjoyed the course. Since Professor Dinesh Sharma and Professor John is here, uh, is Professor Patel is, is, oh, is out of town. Anyway, so without any further ado, uh, we would conduct this function briefly. As some of you may be aware, we do not make a very big business of inauguration and uh, validatory functions in these workshops. Primarily, we engage ourselves with the main business, uh, which is what we have been doing. However, it is in the order of things that we do spend some time, both at the beginning to talk about what we plan to do, and at the end to talk about whether we have achieved what we attempted to do at the beginning. Unfortunately, since there are 1300 participants, and as was I mentioned at the beginning, this is the largest ever attended workshop in the series of workshops that we are doing. It is impossible at this juncture to interact with all the remote centers. However, I would like to choose a few to give their feedback on the occasion. But before I begin this small and brief interaction, I would request Professor Dinesh Sharma to say a few concluding words on the course. Since I took the last class, I have actually said my concluding words and as Professor Fatak said, uh, we would like to keep the formal part of this uh, course to uh, a minimum. It has been a pleasure interacting and uh, indeed a source of great pride that so many teachers in India are concerned about quality of education and have enthusiastically registered for and attended uh, this course. It has been a great pleasure. On behalf of all the instructors and so on, we are grateful for the enthusiastic questions, the energetic discussions that we have had and we hope to continue it. Uh, I would like to uh, like the proceedings to continue. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, so, let me without further ado invite the chief guest of this brief function, uh, my colleague and Professor Kandan Nodgalya, the coordinator of uh, the entire uh, set of mission projects being conducted at IIT Bombay. And may I also invite Professor Sharma, Professor John and Madam to join us on the, on the dais. No, no, no. It is only appropriate that the people who spend so much of their time and energy be seen visibly by everyone. As I said, we will try and get back to a few remote centers. Uh, those who raise their hands, we will perhaps select some three arbitrary people out of those to get your comments and feedback. But before that, I would request uh, Professor Kannan to say a few words on the valedictory function of the largest attended workshop in this series, as I just mentioned. Professor Kannan. Good afternoon. I want to uh, congratu congratulate all of you for having gone through this uh, course uh, very successfully. I will be very brief. Um, I have uh, uh, some uh, feedback. I visited uh, some of the centers during the last uh, week or so, three centers to be precise. And um, I was really delighted to see uh, whenever question, uh, question and answer session was happening, in every center, uh, local discussions were happening and uh, the experts amongst you were leading the discussion, uh, trying to explain uh, the answers given by the instructor from here. Uh, challenging some of his views and then coming online and then asking and so on. I thought that was really incredible and uh, that is something, in fact it was an eye opener to me that, uh, that we will create islands of excellence, in fact to be precise 38 islands of excellence in this uh, uh, course in the 38 centers. The other uh, point is that uh, the, uh, improvements are required uh, on all three fronts from the instructor's point of view, from the instruction side that is IIT Bombay, transmitting side the, that is the technology, uh, view has to improve and also the end user that is the 
participants in the 38 centers. Um, so, we are working on that and then hopefully it will get uh, better, but um, obviously uh, it takes time to reach uh, you know we have to go in uh, steps. Uh, I believe that in spite of all the difficulties we have had, uh, you would agree that it was a, a good course and uh, I was very happy. There is only one piece of information I wanted to give, but uh, as I am getting uh, uh, old and I tried to locate only in the last minute, I could not find it. Uh, this is on virtual labs. I believe that many uh, of you uh, want to participate in virtual labs, not only in the CPLD, but also in the national effort. Um, I will get the administ uh, people who are administering Moodle to post that information on Moodle, so you will all uh, get that information. Mm -hmm. uh, so, with that I would like to conclude. Thank you, Professor Kalan. I see a lot of raised hands, so I will just go in the order in which uh, I see them on my panel here. DOE SCC Center, Srinagar. I am very fond of this center because even in the times of turmoil, this center was very active and bubbling with activities and, and interaction. Uh, so, since I can see you all, over to you for your comments please. Hello, good afternoon to everybody here and there in Mumbai. I am Dr. J.J. Qureshi, one of the participants of this workshop. We feel highly elated by these workshops. It is, a, it is an important effort. It is rather an invasion through skies by IIT Mumbai to bridge the gap between haves and have-nots in the academics, to kill this illiteracy, to make India a knowledge-based economy. And we welcome such initiatives taken by HRD ministry here in Srinagar. We feel pleased when we here in Srinagar where the na national highway between Srinagar and the rest of the country remains cut off for most of the uh, most part uh, during the winter, but we can still receive the lectures by eminent professors from IIT Mumbai and other eminent people. And I will be failing in my duties if I do not appreciate the laudable role played by your team, very skillful and uh, the aptness uh, they have displayed there in Mumbai as well as our youngsters, our uh, technicians and engineers here in Srinagar. But I will be looking forward future such programs, but I have settled a bit, uh, I, I have, I would like to add a bit here, so I would like if these seminars, if these workshops will be highly focused in a particular area, suppose there is a programming on certain area, but uh, there will be not be CPLD programming and uh, the inter and this basic electronics. I think this is too much in too little time, but at the end I feel elated that we are receiving lectures from the eminent people um, from Mumbai. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your elaborate comments. We appreciate the observations that you have made and we will definitely take cognizance of the comments that you have made in all of our future endeavors. Let us try to go to Amal Jyoti College, Kerala. Uh, good evening, sir. Let me introduce myself. I am Shofi Raj, working as assistant professor in College of Engineering, Pune, and I uh, attended the course here at Amal Jyoti. First of all, I would like to thank all for arranging a two-week workshop like this. It was uh, very good for uh, all the beginning in engineering teachers like us because it was a very good refreshing course and the quizzes and assignments helped us to understand the things in a greater extent. Once again I would like to thank all on behalf of all the participants of Amaljodi College. Thank you sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for your kind comments. Let's go over to the another institute. Uh, Vidya Pratishthan Baramati, let us see if we can get them, uh, get, get to see them here. Yes, I, I can see the hall. Uh, uh, may I request for your comments please, over to you Baramati. Good evening sir. Yeah, uh, it was a great journey from diode to CPLD. <laughs> and uh, this is uh, very special tool or special method of learning methodology for the rural colleges like us, like Vidya Pratishthan. So I would uh, like to thank all your team, specifically Sharma sir, 
John, uh, Joseph John, then M. B. Patil sir, and I convey my heartly thanks for Madhumita Madam and Atre Madam for their timely help, which has concluded our workshop as a great success. Thank you, IIT Bombay. Thank you very much. We we still have some more users, and I think I can spend another five minutes. Uh, let me see if I can get over to uh, MKSSS Pune, this Cummins College. Yes, we see some people in the Cummins College Hall. Over to you for your comments, sir. Hello, hello, sir. I am Professor D.B. Gaikwad, participant uh, from Cummins College Pune. Uh, here I want to give some feedback. Here all we participants are very happy with the content, the uh, speakers and the method of conduct of this particular workshop. As we discussed with the Date Madam, Madam uh, were here yesterday about the virtual lab and I think we requested that the kits to be uh, provided to the participants and Madam agrees to provide the kits, one per institute and uh, also said that uh, we can uh, send a request for more kits. So, we assure you, Madam, and all the uh, entire team of the IIT for very effective use of this kit as well as the virtual lab. Then, uh, say, in the complete year, since Moodle account will be available to the participants, we assure you on behalf of all my colleagues and friends that we will make best use of that Moodle account to benefit uh, my our colleague and the students learning this particular electronics course. Uh, I will say about the MKSS Pune, there is a Cummins College Pune that they provided us very quality infrastructure and all other facilities. I should uh, say that our coordinator, Professor Khade sir, took a uh, lot of efforts and his team also took a very uh, good uh, efforts for planning the lab session as well as the uh, this particular classroom for providing very good quality audio and video. Thank you sir. Once again, I should say thank you to the uh, all the faculty members, Sharma sir and all others for a very good lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much for your comments. Uh, I have here Mepco Schlenk uh, uh, Institute at Shivakashi. Uh, let me see if we can connect to Shivakashi. Sir, on behalf of the participants from Mepco Schlenk Engineering College, Shivakashi, I am giving you the feedback. Attending classes through the outreach project of IIT Bombay has made us as free electrons having excited with so much of energy level that on returning to our institutions, I am sure almost 70% of the teachers will opt for teaching electronics even if we have not taught once in their career. Professor K. Sharma sir, you have made us biased to switch over to design our own circuits using PMAS, NMAS, etc. CPLD and FPGA with the hardware language. When we leave this program as acceptors, we will become donors of the fundamental basics of electronics to our students. And I am afraid many of our students will become entrepreneurs starting electronic industry in India. As I think now, if I were fortunate to attend this program in the early 80s, when I was a raw graduate then, I would have become an electronic industrialist. The role of low RE in the biasing circuit of common emitter configuration, making IC and IB to increase will never vanish from our cells of memory. It has been amplified and stored in our synapse by exciting potential of Professor J. John. The feedback topologies will never ever leave our mind. The duality theorem start by, taught by Professor M. B. Patel were very interesting through his lecture on decibel. We have an idea about the human perception of sound and light, loud thunder level, noise level of the atomic bomb blast at Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan too. As Professor John quoted, we leave now taking a challenge to teach analog electronics. The lab sessions demonstrated by your team members and the team here with the team leader, Professor Kadir, our coordinator at Mepko Schlenk Engineering College, Sivagasi were very interesting and we got the results both by doing hardware as well as by using SQL. We extend our congratulations to you all, sir. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, madam. I think this is the first time I am hearing not prose, but poetry constructed using electronic terms. So, is that what uh, Professor Sharma you taught them? Uh, but, but that was very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, we have the Don Bosco College at Gauhati. We go to the easternmost corner of the country from, uh, uh, from the south and let us see. Yes, we see a lot of people assembled there at Gauhati. Uh, my compliments to you folks from Gauhati and over to you for your comments please. Good evening sir. A very good evening to you all. Uh, it is a very nice experience for participating in this workshop and we are very benefited uh, uh, by participating in this workshop and uh, I want to congratulate you and this remote center, Don Bosco College of Engineering and Technology for conducting such type of workshop and I hope uh, to participate in uh, such type of workshop in future also. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. There are still a large number of people who would like to say something. Uh, let me, is that okay if we spend another 10-15 minutes? Yes, thank you. So, uh, since my colleagues here are quite enthusiastic to listen to comments from friends, uh, let's go over to SRM Kanchipuram now. Good evening to one and all. As a behalf of participant of SRM Kanchipuram, I would like to thank you all. Actually, we learned a key point of this basic electronics. As a teacher, how to teach to the student, which point we have to operate and which point we have to boost to the student, that basic fundamental we will learn from this tutorial. As well as the information of the tutorial material is more informative and more fundamental. Fundamental is a very, very needed thing to build a floor and floor as a creative engineers, how to bring the innovative engineers, even we are not able to bring the inventors, but we can bring the innovators, that we can bring up with basic fundamentals. And one more point, I would like to thank to the coordinators of SRM, uh, they have treated like uh, colleagues, not a guest. We came from outside, I am from Bharat University, so I felt that, that also I would like to thank to the center. At one more point, the duration of the course is uh, long. We are not getting uh, much. Is it audible? Uh, I am sorry to interrupt, but your voice is breaking, perhaps because of the fluctuating bandwidth. But the points which we heard uh, were eloquently speaking uh, about your experiences. Uh, we have personally, we have noted the point about the duration of this workshop. I will make a comment in my concluding remarks on that. But thank you very much for your comments. Uh, we now go over to Mufakkamja College, Hyderabad. Honorable Chief Guest, Honorable all the lecturers of the IITs, Honorable Principal Sir and HOD of the Mufakkamja College of Engineering, myself, Khazi Fasiyuddin, I am Assistant Professor in Matushri Engineering College, Nanded. On behalf of all the participants, I am very much thankful to IIT's team and also the MHRD that they have arranged such a very good workshop for us that we have learned so many new things, so many new tools. And also I am very much thankful to the, our MJ College of the Hyderabad, their all the team, their coordinator, their principal, their HODs that they have provided such a good uh, facilities. That unable of that facility, we are unable to do this workshop and I am very much thankful to the principal sir also of the MJ College. And, and I hope that in future also the MHRD will conduct like this workshop and in future that uh, whatever be CPLD labs, virtual labs we have seen, so definitely we will implement this thing in our college, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much for your comments. We will go to some other uh, institution now, uh, N uh, NJR Institute of Technology at Udaipur. I can see the Udaipur classroom. Uh, may I request for your comments, please? Over to you, Udaipur. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank IST, IIT Bombay, and especially you, sir, Professor Fatak, sir, uh, Dinesh Sharma, sir, MB Patil, sir, John, sir, and Madam Date. Uh, 
the important thing about the course content the content was really good the best thing about this course was that you included lab exercises actually in most of the engineering colleges the teachers are teaching subjects theory subjects clearly means they are taking lectures but sometimes the lab was not very good so by this exposure of labs the student will also learn since the teachers have learned many things here by these lab exercises so i request you that in future also you please conduct more specialized courses on embedded systems vlc design dsp or some other specialized area with some practicals thank you very much sir thank you so much for your comments we seem to have some connectivity problem with the ips academy let me select another institution dkts ichal karanji good afternoon sir uh, it was really a nice experience uh, going through e learning even though you cannot replace classroom teaching but still you know we used to have a dream to interact with iits and it came true through this workshop certain events in this workshop were very informative for example the cpld training was very nice such a beautiful board was designed and in very simple manner the training was given as far as cpld is concerned effectively e learning should not be uh, exceeded to uh, two weeks that is what we feel i think one week is sufficient and one more suggestion we want to uh, give to you is it will be better if we have mixture of let us say two or three days classroom teaching plus e learning thank you sir thank you so much you made your points well we'll we'll definitely keep those in mind uh let's go to anna university chennai good evening sir and you want to ask very simple Mike, Mike, on one hand. Yes. 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 Y
for uh, this great experience. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, let us go to VNIT Nagpur. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, this is Abdankar from VNIT Nagpur. And uh, we are meeting after a long time, Professor Patak and Professor Kannan. And this time I am participant from this end. And it was very interesting and informat informative workshop from IIT Bombay. And this time I find very large number of participation all over India. And it is very nice to see and hear all about that. So I, I um, heartily, my heartily greetings are also to Professor Joseph and Professor Sharma, uh, Miss Madhuvita and Atre Madam as well. It was very interesting to go through all the practicals and theory and interact with the staff. Thank you very much. Over to you, sir. Thank you, sir, for your observations. Uh, we will we'll now go over to VIT Velour. Yes, we can see uh, participants assembled in the Velour Institute. Uh, may I request you for your comments, please? Over to you. Okay, sir. So, I am from Meenachi College of Engineering. So, and the two weeks program is good. Okay, we enjoyed a lot and we expect the same thing to be repeated. We expect the same thing to happen in winter also, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for your comments. There is another uh, small place in Maharashtra, the R.C. Patel College at Sherpur. Let me try to go over to Sherpur and uh, request for some comments from them. I can see you. Uh, over to you, friends, for your concluding remarks on the course. Good evening, sir. Uh, today we are uh, such a so happy, sir, because in our rural area there are a number of uh, participants from our rural area. So it is a very useful for us, and uh, definitely it is a very technical point of view. We are uh, definitely useful our teams and your methodology, and also there are certain uh, different aspects related to our technical point of view. We are definitely useful for us. So, we are just uh, very thankful for such a nice program and uh, definitely in future uh, we are uh, again uh, participant uh, in such a such type of a big program. But as per rural point of view, it is uh, definitely useful for us. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, NIT Kurukshetra, last time I tried, there was some problem in the connection. Uh, let me see if I can, I can see them uh, at NIT Kurukshetra. Uh, this uh, yes, I can I can see our friends from NIT Kurukshetra very clearly. Uh, I I request you to make your observations and comments. Over to you, sir. Sir, I am Mr. Kuin Koshi from NIT College and uh, get this workshop at NIT Kurukshetra. First, I will give congratulations to IIT Bombay team for organizing this uh, workshop with a grand success, and also congratulations. To R.K. Sarma sir, uh, professor in NIT Kusheta, with his team for facilitating so that we get this workshop. And also, I give one suggestion regarding this workshop. If the workshop is going on, we also focus on the recent trends so that the faculty get uh, facilitated and more benefited for their career also. We uh, have special program in, so that we can focus on the research work, work uh, on which topic is going on and how we perform for that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think you have made an important point about uh, including some aspects of uh, research activities in that area. We will definitely keep that in mind. Uh, I think I will, I will stop this interaction at this juncture because we need to close by, uh, by 5 o'clock. I have noted the points and I will try to say a few things on the points that were mentioned by colleague participants here in my concluding remarks. But before that, uh, while uh, Professor Sharma says that he has already spoken his concluding words and he would not add anything to it. May I request uh, uh, 
uh, Professor Joseph and Madhumita to say a few, few words, please. Over to you. Thank you, uh, Professor Fatak. Uh, for me, this was the first experience in this kind of a remote interaction with teachers. Uh, this is the first time in my life I am speaking to an audience with empty chairs. So it was. It took me some time, but I think after about two, three days, with some good feedback from the audience regarding the non-visibility of my uh, font and so on, I could improve. But I really enjoyed uh, teaching, and I also really enjoyed. In fact, uh, there were very good questions from uh, the participants, and I, we were ex extremely happy that they have been thinking about these topics and asking good questions. So. We look forward to interacting with uh, similar colleagues from all over the country. Thank you. For being with all of you for the last few days, uh, I assure the best cooperation from Virtual Lab team as well uh, for the coming days. Thank you. Thank you, friends. Uh, although our other colleague, Professor Patil, is not here, I will say a few words on his behalf. He has also enjoyed teaching this course and he told me that he has understood that the fonts that he has to use have to be much larger. In fact, the same observation was made by Professor uh, Joseph as well. So thank you very much for your observations and comments. As I said, I have noted all of them. Let me just make a brief uh, set of observations on these workshops and also indicate to you what we propose to do in future. First of all, all your observations have been noted. We are glad that you like an appropriate mix of lectures and practicals arranged as part of this workshop. Let me comment on the duration that was spoken about. Most participants would like the duration to be, should, to be cut down. We, we had deliberated a lot on this issue and indeed, there would be a few focused one week workshops that we would launch in future after taking due clearance from both IST and the ministry. Please understand that there is a lot that needs to be done through the interaction not only between IIT faculty and the colleagues who assemble at remote centers, but within the colleagues who assemble at one remote center also. And it is this interaction which consolidates any learning, any observation, any new ideas that you would get in this workshop. We believe that a one week workshop which would effectively reduce to only a total of five days will leave very little time for this interaction. Besides, the idea is that a two week workshop roughly models the coverage in terms of number of lectures and lab hours which is equivalent to a regular semester course that is taught. That was the reason for this decision, but we are aware of the problems in taking leave and getting leave is concerned. We also understand that planning uh, workshops during the entire month of May, months of May, June and July as well as December is fraught with danger because all the institutions across the country do not have their vacation period coinciding with each other. We have therefore decided that we will in future run multiple workshops in the same time slot with the time slot being chosen carefully to coincide with the vacation time for maximum number of teachers. We will probably have two such time slots in future during summer which would be towards the end of May and beginning of June. This seems to be the feedback of most people as to the commonly acceptable and easily usable slots. Similarly, in the month of December, we will use only one time slot from 15th to 22nd, I think, 12th to 22nd. And in that, in these three time slots, we would try to arrange at least two workshops each, of course, on subjects uh, which, are, uh, which are so different from each other that the participating teachers will not have any clash. Uh, the second point which was made was about introducing some advanced topics particularly related to research. The point is that the current mandate that we have is to empower our colleague teachers in teaching basic courses, core engineering courses to the engineering students. Of course, this success 
has been reverberating in the minds of all the people including the policy planners in Delhi. Let me assure you that the next plan period will attempt to extend this kind of activity to a much larger and broader scale. I am proposing to the planning commission that we extend these kind of workshops and not limit them only to the core courses, take them to the elective courses and take them even to the advanced level postgraduate courses. Let us hope that the outcome of the deliberations in Delhi, in planning commission and in MHRD would be corroborative of our expectations. Uh, but let me assure you that I have seen personally that the government is not at all going to hesitate from making significant investments in this methodology which has proven itself in its usage. Let me very quickly say specific to this workshop something about virtual labs. Originally when this course was conceived, virtual labs was not intended to be a part of it. But when we began discussion, Professor Dinesh Sharma and Professor Patil pointed out that this was an activity which was being independently pursued by them and we decided to examine whether we could meaningfully utilize those efforts for this course as well. I am very glad to see that everybody has liked this experiment. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the back end team uh, led by Mrs. Date and her colleagues and of course supported by all our faculty colleagues. You may not know it, but people have hardly slept for about 8 days and nights before the workshop began both their team uh, and uh, some of the junior people to test the boards. Our original intention was to provide each faculty member with one board. We could not get sufficient number of boards manufactured and tested in time. But I am sure that they are in the pipeline and uh, we have assured that we will give them. So every teacher who has participated in this workshop will get a board and we hope that you will spread this culture, this knowledge and this method and uh, methodology and approach uh, of, of virtual labs, of designing more experiments, of using these boards to a greater value in each of your colleges. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank all the center coordinators and their staff. Just as my colleagues have worked very hard to make this workshop a success, in exactly the same fashion, whether it is the coordinating teachers and faculty members at remote centers, whether it is their colleagues who provide uh, the laboratory uh, uh, assistance for conduct of labs and tutorials or the technical staff which handles the AVU and audio video related things. All of them have worked very well. We have noticed a few glitches as was observed by Professor Kannan. We will definitely try to take care of them. However, one request to all the remote center coordinators ensure that you have at least one Mbps bandwidth without any faltering while the lectures are going on because a stable bandwidth would make uh, the experience much better for everyone concerned. Ideally, you should have a 2 Mbps bandwidth and hopefully the 2 Mbps bandwidth will be soon affordable, available uh, and, and we should be able to use those in all our future endeavors. In this connection, I would like to mention that the national knowledge network, which is connecting 200 remote centers to a gigabit network, would soon be making that bandwidth available for usage with AVU. And hopefully in December, in the worst case, in, from the next summer, we would be using that high bandwidth to all the universities and colleges which are connected on that national network. And we would request those of them who are not already our remote centers to become remote centers and we would request the government to make all existing remote centers connected on the national network. This work is going on already. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank my colleagues from the electrical engineering department. As Professor John Joseph said, it was his first experience to interact with people on, on this kind of medium and he seems to be fairly comfortable with it now, so that when we request him to take another course, maybe next year, he would not have any problems. 
I would suggest that the information and communication technology is the only mechanism that this nation has which can scale up to a large scale the interaction between various people working in a similar area. It is not only limited to engineering college education. I hope to see this culture, this methodology spreading to even smaller groups in smaller places using technology to extend the reach and to extend the interaction. So, my thanks to my colleagues from electrical engineering department and of course, a large number of people at the back end in the electrical engineering department labs, especially uh, Madhumita's colleagues who worked uh, day in and day out to, uh, to finish off things in time. I will also like to use this occasion to thank my own colleagues. Of course, they are all part and parcel of this national mission and I am glad to tell you that they have never ever worried about whether it is a holiday or a working day, whether it is morning, evening or night. Whenever there was a problem, they did rush to solve the problem. You would have interacted extensively with uh, Dr. Mukta Atre and uh, uh, Sajjan and his team. Uh, yes, Sajjan is there. We, we, you can see, can you just pan all of them? They are, they are the people who, uh, who have helped us here. So, you can see them very briefly. Can you go over to the video team, please? Yes, Abhilash is sitting in a corner. He is the one who runs all his Moodle and everything. And on my, on my left here, Professor Aute, who is the program director of Eklavya project and some junior colleagues on the other side. Thank you very much. Thank you one and all. I will just make one last comment on, uh, on, on, on the uh, approach that we are going to take in future. So, one thing was already mentioned and everybody seems to be aware that the Moodle will be kept on. It is not just the Moodle, there would be a portal and that portal will house not only the contents that have been created as part of this workshop, but it will also house contents that any one of you would like to contribute. We will soon be, we are finalizing plans for setting up editorial boards, opening up the registration to a much larger number of teachers and students in different subjects and the first set of automatic enrollment will be for those teachers who have participated in these workshops both from IIT side and from the participant side. And I would expect that over the years the knowledge contents including audio video lectures that are delivered and recorded here, but even otherwise text contents, descriptions of additional experiments, additional circuit designs for example, in this workshop could all get accumulated on this national portal which could be useful to all others. We are slightly delayed in launching that portal. Originally, we had planned to launch it on August 15th, but we have realized that we will require a much larger configuration of servers and bandwidth. This may be delayed towards the October, November uh, time frame, but before we launch our next workshop in December, hopefully we will have this infrastructure in place. I would request you to participate in these workshops. I would also like to share with you one plan. I do not remember whether I mentioned it at the beginning of this workshop or not. We would like to scale this up further, particularly for shorter workshops. As many of you have suggested that there could be topics, there could be subjects where about a week of interaction is more than adequate and yet it will be very meaningful for participants. First such workshop which we are planning in the summer of 2012 will be a workshop on research methodology. A colleague of ours from the sister institution IIT Madras, Professor Karmalkar had given uh, that program which was a shorter program still for the benefit of our own research scholars last year. As I had mentioned earlier, this entire program is available in open source on the, uh, on the Eklavia website. However, we plan to conduct a regular five-day program on research methodologies which should benefit teachers from all fields. It is not restricted to electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, civil engineering. Teachers who are pursuing research 
either at the master's level or at the PhD level, including those who wish to pursue their research activities may not have begun yet, all of them will find this meaningful. The difference will be that this one week program will be meant not for 1000 plus teachers, but for 10,000 plus teachers and we would like to run it from 200 remote centers. My request to you all, my dear participants is that you have worked at some remote centers. I am not talking about people from the remote center, but other teachers. So, you have worked at the remote centers, you know exactly what is required to be done at the remote center. Could I request some of you to go back and contemplate whether you would like to become remote centers, not necessarily for all the basic core courses in engineering, but for such nutshell workshops, which could be five day workshops. If you could find adequate facilities at your place and if you believe that your current leadership in your college would be good enough to spare those facilities and spare the time and resources of some people to assist you, then uh, you may want to uh, tell us whether you are interested in becoming a remote center. We shall soon be putting up on the safe website a detailed information about what do we expect from any remote center, but if it is only with your help that I would like to take this process to 200 plus remote centers, because that is the capability of the technology that we have. AVU can handle this, my video team can handle this, and my colleague teachers can definitely handle interaction, albeit on a subdued level to 10,000 people. I look forward to actually that level of scale up of this effort. The last point I would like to make is that there is something else that this workshop or these series of workshops seem to achieve. You know where we are here in Mumbai IIT, we are often localized to this city, the environment at the most of the state. When we interact with people from other areas of the country, we come to know a whole lot of interesting aspects and similarities and differences between the way we handle not just academics, but human interaction and the way other friends in the nation handle it. It is an exhilarating experience for us when we meet people from east to west, from Guwahati to Surat, from north to south, from Srinagar to Vellore and Kerala. Believe me, I genuinely feel that these efforts also help all of us in this country to feel united, to feel one. Earlier, there used to be a lot of distinction felt intrinsically by faculty colleagues across the country between say IIT system, NIT system, private colleges, between say north, south, east, west, between the Hindi speaking belt and Tamil speaking belt and Telugu's and others. But you have seen that this workshop has actually help to provide a great binding to all of us. I do not know of any other mechanism which can bring people across the country in such large numbers together and keep them glued to a specific academic discussion for a long period of 10 days in the process learning so much about each other. I hope this is also an important achievement, although it is a side achievement, not the one which was originally planned or intended in our technical deliberations. With these comments, I would like to extend my compliments to all of you and I look forward to far greater interaction on larger scale in different subjects, not only in engineering, but in other areas as well in the coming years. Thank you so much. I am sorry, I hope you have not yet walked off. I would, I, I would, I would like you to, I would like you to witness our thanksgiving bouquets to our colleagues. I begin with Professor Dinesh Sharma. Thank you so much. At least these are small things that we can give you. Professor John Joseph, thank you so much. Mrs. Madhumita Date, thank you so much. And uh, what about Professor Patil? So, let me, let, me, let me imagine that Professor Patil is somewhere here. Uh, since uh, Madhumita comes from his lab, right? So, may I request uh, Madhumita to please give this? 
Oh, Abhishek is here. Okay, okay. So, uh, Abhishek has been uh, the designer of the board. So, let me let me request him to take this bouquet on our behalf. Thank you so much for your participation. Thank you. Yeah, I would like to add that uh, our students have been very active in this, and uh, the initiative and the hard work that has been put. You 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 have been very kind uh, uh, in your interaction about the faculty and. Indeed, it has been a great pleasure to interact with you. But uh, I'm really, really grateful to our students. The board that you are using was, in fact, designed by Abhishek. And the intensity uh, and the energy that they have put in getting it manufactured, getting it distributed, insisting that anybody who's traveling takes along a box full of uh, cards to its destination and so on, that has all come from uh, these students. And I'm indeed extremely pleased to see this level of participation. It's a source of pleasure. And it pays back for all the hard work put by faculty to see our students standing up to this uh, occasion and contributing so very well to this effort. Uh, and I hope that this community of uh, 1,300 teachers who have seen each other, who have interacted with each other, will continue to be a community and include enthusiastic students uh, like this. Thank you, Abhishek, very much uh, for your efforts. So with this, we, we conclude the function. Thank you one and all, and all the best uh, for your future electronic endeavors.